what I want to do is just share with you something I'm going to be doing starting tomorrow, probably, <laughs> probably, um, but starting tomorrow, and it is in specific a juice fast that I'll be doing. Now, I am not new to juice fasts. I actually wrote a book called The 10 Day High Vibration Detox that's available at thelightworkerslab.com in our free library, so it's free. And I, I do that typically seasonally, at least twice a year, but typically seasonally. But this is not the same as what I'm going to be doing in this juice fast. Now, my intention at this time is to do this juice fast for at least three days, hopefully 10 days. And if on the 10th day I'm feeling like vitalized and really into it, then potentially looking at 21 days. Now, that sounds a little crazy to me. The older I get, the harder it is for me to miss a meal. Let me just tell you that right now. I don't like it, but I've done this particular juice fast before in shorter increments and talk about vitalization, talk about like surges in energy. It's very, very high vibration. Now this juice blend is called Kabbalah, C-A-B-A-L-A, -A -A, and it stands for C, carrot, A, apple, red apple, B, beet, A, apple, green apple, L, lemon, and A, apple, yellow apple. So there's three different types of apples here. It's optimal to get red, green, yellow, but if you can't because they're just not available and you can only get red or you can get red and green, like that's fine. Just get the apples that you can. But if you can get those three colors, all the better. Now, I tend to make about 64 ounces of this particular juice blend in the morning. It takes a lot of work. Anybody who presses juices knows it takes a lot of work. <laughs> it takes about an hour to like cut up all the fruit and vegetables, press it through your, your machine, clean up your machine, drink it and all that jazz. Now, it's best to consume fresh, uh, fresh juices right after you press them. But given my schedule and my time, that's not really realistic for me. So what I do is I make this particular blend in the morning and I drink probably about... 20 to 30 ounces right then and there. I just, I jug it down, I drink it so that I can get the fresh nutrition. It is alive, it is available. And then I will refrigerate the rest. And I understand that not drinking fresh juices right there in the moment is not as beneficial as drinking it as soon as you press them. However, again, due to schedule and lives and we all got stuff to do out here in these streets, it's just not reasonable for me to make juice blends three times a day and clean up the mess and do the whole deal. So I make a big batch of at least 64 ounces in the morning. I have a nice at least 20 to 30 ounces for breakfast and then I just drink it through the day. In addition to that, I allow myself to drink water with lemon. Woohoo! <laughs> Yay! But also I can drink uh, decaffeinated teas and some coffee if I want to in the morning. Now I try not to because I do love my coffee. I can't help it. And so it's one of those things like every now and again, I need to just get myself off coffee because I become too dependent on it. So if I really need it, I'll have a cup of coffee. But toward the end of the process, I'm hoping that I'm not going to really need it that much. Again, I'm going to be doing this for at least three days, starting tomorrow. Hopefully 10 days, which I think is a wonderful goal for me, who can't even miss a meal. <laughs> And then maybe pushing through to 21 days if I feel motivated by it. And the reason I'm sharing this with you is because I'd like to invite any of you who want to do this with me to do just that. Do it with me. Um, I know not everybody has juice, uh, juicers. I have an Omega juicer. I have two Omega juicers. The wonderful Trisha Carr gave me a fantastic wheatgrass press for my housewarming gift. And, and so I have juicers and I have everything that I need. If you don't have that... I suppose you could turn this into a smoothie, like in a Vitamix or a blender, although there'd be, of course, all the fiber, which is not bad. The fiber is great. The, the difference between having a smoothie and having the juice is that the juice is dynamically bioavailable and assimilated by the body. With the fiber, it takes a little longer to process, but the fiber is also extremely beneficial as well. So you could conceivably do this via smoothie, but you'd have to work out consistency issues and I've never tried it so I don't know how it would work for you. Again, Kabbalah, carrot, apple, red, beet, one beet because <laughs> I don't like beets that much, apple, green, lemon, and apple, yellow. 
all organic if you can. Go to the Whole Foods, go to the Central Market, go to the natural grocers and just, it's not, it doesn't cost a lot of money to do this for three days, but like get it all organic if you can. Now, for I, what I'm gonna do is over the next three days, as I do at least the three days, I'm gonna make videos and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing. I'm also gonna just talk to you about how I'm feeling, what I'm observing, because I consider this to be a spiritual fast. And my intention here is not just to get into alignment in my physical body, but it's also to get into alignment with my, what I wanna manifest for this year and going forward. And I wanna also say that I have found if I lack discipline in my physical body, or if I feel like I am slacking off, not exercising, eating a whole lot of Doritos or something, or if I've had too much meat, for example, and I'm not taking care of my physical body, or even if I'm not disciplined in other areas of my life, like organization, getting up on time, going to bed on time, and cleanliness, keeping my house super clean, like I like it. If I'm not disciplined in these other areas of my life, the spiritual stuff tends to fall apart a little bit. It tends to be a little more difficult to get projects off the ground or get inspired to do new things or even creative. So it's important for me in specific to keep my body in alignment. And as of late, I felt like I've fallen out of alignment. I'm a little tubby. How dare you? Copy. I'm a little tubby. Got about 20 extra pounds on me at this time, which is whatever. I'm not judging myself. You know, I always wondered as a younger person, um, 20, 18, 25, when I was like super immersed in my eating disorder, which was anorexia, bulimia, I always wondered like, oh my God, by the time I'm 40, I'm just, at least I won't have to worry about this. By the time I'm 50, at least I'm not going to worry about what I eat and, and, and how I look. And it doesn't work that way. <laughs> I'm 50 and I still, I don't worry, but I, I want to be healthy and it's always on my mind. It's always something I do consider the body to be our temple and it houses like everything that we're here to do. So that's why I'm doing this because I feel like I need a reboot and I want to invite any of you who want to join to do that. You can comment here uh, live or you can comment if you're watching this on replay. Let me know that you're in and I will upload videos at least for the next three days. And I'd love to see or hear your feedback if you're going to do it with me, especially if you've had any aha moments, any spiritual openings, any connections, and whatnot. <laughs>